Well, hi, hello, my dear students. Welcome to my video lecture class. Right uh, up to now, I have uploaded video lectures on the topic circular motion. Okay. Today, we are going to discuss this main important uh, concept. Today, we are going to discuss if your body moves in uniform circular motion, what are the main conditions? If your body moves in non-uniform circular motion, then what are the main conditions? So first I discuss uniform circular motion. Conditions for uniform circular motion. Conditions for uniform circular motion. Conditions for uniform circular motion. So if your body, if your body moves in moves in circular path circular path moves in circular path with constant velocity with constant velocity with constant velocity circular path with constant velocity velocity sorry not velocity constant speed constant speed then then that motion is called then that motion is called the motion is called uniform circular motion uniform circular motion uniform circular motion so now So one thing is here. This is a circuit. Okay. So one thing is here. Body moves in circular path. Body moves in the circular path. <coughs> Speed is equal to constant. Speed is also nothing but magnitude of velocity. So how can we indicate on the south V bar? On the south V bar, indicate number V bar is equal to constant. Speed is equal to constant. Observe carefully, speed is equal to constant means AT, tangential acceleration means what now? D V bar by DT or not? Tangential acceleration means what? D V bar by D V bar by DT or not? That means d by dt of constant d by dt of constant then is zero that means tangential acceleration is zero okay if your body moves in uniform circular motion tangential acceleration is zero this is very 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 important condition if your body moves in circular path that means uniform circular motion if any body moves in uniform circular motion it has four accelerations one is tangential acceleration, second thing is centripetal acceleration, third one is net acceleration, fourth one is angular acceleration. So here body moves in uniform circular motion, speed is constant, speed is constant means tangential acceleration is equal to zero. And again, so we know that tangential acceleration at is equal to alpha into r, alpha into r. So we know that AT is equal to alpha into R. That means if AT is equal to 0, then alpha is equal to AT by R. AT by R. So here alpha is equal to AT by R. That means 0 by R. That is equal to 0. So that means uh, angular acceleration. Angular acceleration alpha also is 0. Okay. So first body moves in uniform circular motion first one is tangential acceleration is 0 and second condition is what you got alpha is equal to 0 alpha is equal to 0 we got so then alpha is equal to 0 means we know that alpha is equal to d omega by dt so d omega by dt is equal to 0 means definitely omega is constant or not 
omega is constant or not. If omega constant only, d omega by dt is equal to 0. That means here third one is omega is constant. Omega is constant. Okay, so omega value is constant. Then one more thing here, centripetal acceleration direction. Yeah. Observe carefully, this is centripetal acceleration or centripetal force direction toward the center they are acting. Toward the center only they are acting. So I draw on the here. So after that, we got three points. Please note on this, I need some space. So this is the center. This is the direction of centripetal acceleration and centripetal force. Centripetal acceleration and centripetal force are always that's towards the center, towards the center. So this is the direction of direction of velocity vector. This is the direction of velocity vector. Then what is angle here? Angle is 90 degrees or not. Angle is 90 degrees or not. That means if you have C bar dot V bar is equal to power here. What is the power formula? Power formula F, F bar dot V bar, F C bar dot V bar. And F C means centripetal force. Centripetal force. F C bar dot V bar. Then here angle to be this is 90 degree. That means it can be written as F C B cos theta that is equal to power theta. So the word power P is equal to the theta is 90 degrees or not. That means we have C B into cos. 90. That means what is the cos 90 value is 0. So 0 is 0. zero. So power is equal to 0 here. Power value is 0 we got. So that means next, next what is the fourth condition? Power is equal to 0. Next if power is equal to 0 then 1 by we know that power is equal to 1 by time. Then 1 by is equal to power in time. That means power is 0 is 1 by also 0. Power is zero means power also zero. So power also zero. Power also zero. Okay, next sixth one is speed is constant. Speed is equal to constant. Okay, so these are the speed is constant. Next seventh condition is seventh condition is velocity is varies. Velocity is varies. Okay, so these are the main important conditions. Please observe carefully while one body is in uniform circular motion. If a body moves in, if a body is in uniform circular motion, so these are the major conditions. Tangential acceleration is equal to zero, alpha is equal to zero, omega is equal to constant, power is equal to zero, work done is equal to zero, speed is equal to constant. Okay. And uh, uh, velocity is varies. Velocity is varies here. Okay. Tangential acceleration is zero means tangential force also zero. Tangential force is acting means a tangential force also zero. Okay. Because uh, like a net acceleration, net force also there. Net force means net force is equal to square root of f t square plus f c square. Net force is equal to here yeah, f t is equal to 0 means just f net, f net is equal to f c in case of this is the eighth condition. Eighth condition if your body moves in uniform circular motion, so it must satisfy these all conditions. Then only it is able to move in uniform circular motion. Okay. Next, if your body moves in non-uniform circular motion, if your body moves in non-uniform circular motion, what are the conditions satisfies? Okay. Your body moves in circular path with the with the variable speed. With the variable speed. Okay. 
with variable speed is called non-uniform circular motion. Non-uniform circular motion. Conditions for non-uniform circular motion. So a body moves in variable speed. Speed is not constant. Speed of magnetic velocity. Not equal to constant. That means we are first one. AC is not equal to zero. AP is not equal to zero. Second one, second one, work done not equal to zero. Third one, okay, third one. So, because so work done not equal to zero, power not equal to zero. Okay, Mr. Fourth one. Okay, so these are all the conditions here. Maybe AC not equal to zero, AT not equal to zero. In first case, AC in AT equal to zero. Okay, so omega not equal to zero. And the power work done not equal to zero, this is work done not to zero, work, work done not equal to zero, power not equal to zero, then F net is equal to, yeah, power F net is equal to, there F net is equal to FC, here F net is equal to, the root of F is here plus FC is there. Okay, so these are the conditions. So if any, still any conditions are there, I'll explain in, um, while solving problems, I'll explain clearly. So next, uh, next uh, most important topic, uh, most important topic is kinematics of kinematics of kinetic equations, kinematic equations. Straight line motion. What is kinematic equation of straight line motion? V is equal to U plus AT. S is equal to U T plus R I D square. Next term. V square minus U square is equal to 2 AS. Next term. Yes, M is equal to U plus A into M minus 1 by 2. S M is equal to U plus A into M minus 1 by 2. So these are the four equations of motion. So what we discussed in for straight line motion. Straight line motion. In circular motion, simple thing, straight line motion is analogous to, analogous means similar to, analogous to circular motion, kinematic equations of circular motion. How can we indicate these? Uh, how can we indicate this here? So simple in circular motion, omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha into t. Here second one, theta is equal to omega naught into t plus half into alpha t square. A simple thing here. This is final velocity. Here omega means final velocity. Here omega means final velocity. Final velocity. Omega naught means initial velocity. Initial velocity. Omega naught means initial velocity. Next, uh, alpha means angular acceleration. Angular acceleration. T means time. Okay. Theta means angular displacement. That too. Theta yep, means final angular displacement displacement we want theta over the north theta angular displacement 
this question. So if theta is equal to omega naught into t plus half or what is that? Next uh, third equation. What is third equation? D square minus u square is equal to a s. V means here final velocity means in straight line motion, small v. There final velocity means omega square. Omega square. Initial velocity means omega naught square. Omega naught square is equal to 2as, that means 2 alpha theta. Next, the fourth one. Sn is equal to, yes, Sn is equal to theta. Both the Sn is equal to theta. Then, okay, distance travelled by body, that means distance travelled by body in m, m second. That means angular displacement covered by body in m second is equal to omega naught plus, here, omega naught plus, a means alpha into n minus 1. So these are the equations of kinematic equations of circular motion. So if you you've already watched that straight line motion, uh, the topics, all topics and uh, the all concepts. So now it is easy to easy to get uh, an idea about this uh, these all concepts because uh, these are all our linked ones. If you know the all the fundamentals, all the concepts of straight line motion, it is easy to solve any problem is given in this because these two are analogous. These are the kinematic equations for circular motion. So I think you are all understood this lecture. If you had any doubt, please mention in the comment box. Okay. So I hope uh, so you are all are enjoying my lectures and uh, thank you for encouraging me. Thank you so much. Again, I'll come back with the new concepts. Okay, up to now I upload, uploaded video lectures on units and measurements. Next, motion in a straight line, motion in a plane. In motion in a plane, oblique projection I explained, and horizontal projection I explained. Applications of horizontal horizontal projection and applications of oblique projection I explained, and the vectors I explained, vectors topic I explained, circular motion topic I explained. Kinematics of circular motion also I explained. Please watch that uh, previous lecture videos. If you want any topic, just type that uh, topic. Go through YouTube search box. Just uh, type uh, vectors by CSI came up. Or uh, if you take circular motion by CSI came If you got all videos, all my videos, please uh, so uh, watch the, my videos. If you like my videos, please. Uh, Press like icon. I like icon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.